Jumbo everybody, in today's video, I have a what I eat in a day video for you guys. It has been a couple of years since I have done an update and um, our diet has changed a little bit. So we actually eat paleo autoimmune protocol with reintroduction. So it's basically a low inflammatory whole foods kind of diet that centers around fruits and veggies, um, but it also has meat incorporated into that as well. So um, just a low inflammatory type of diet. So I like like to start the day out with a juice of some kind. I'll either do a juice that's only celery juice or I will do a combination of low sugar fruits and veggies together. So this particular day I decided to do some carrots, celery, cucumber, and half of a lime. Lime juice sounded really good to me. I don't know. And the juicer that I've been using, and I highly recommend this. If you guys are in the market, check out the link below. It's the TEC Masticating Juicer. It is such high quality at such a low price point, you guys. It's on Amazon, on Prime, and it is a newer model. So they're pricing it really low right now. The last I checked, it was under $130, you guys, for a really good juicer. It takes five minutes to put it together, to take it apart, to clean it, and the pulp comes out nearly dry. It's crazy. And the thing that I like about it, too, is that it is not super loud. I don't like loud noises, <laughs> and this one is actually really pretty quiet. It has a sorbet attachment, too, so you can make some like frozen fruit sorbets if that's something that you guys are interested in, but I personally like how how much liquid it takes out of all my fruits and veggies. It is insane. And you guys, if you do juicing in bulk, you can run this thing up to 45 minutes at a time. So you can do your juicing, you can freeze it, or if you have a large family, it works really good for that too. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you are in the market for a new juicer, you guys check out the link below. It is an incredible juicer. Look how much juice it got out. If you saw the plate before, that was not a whole lot of fruits and veggies, right? And I just, I don't know, super delicious. I highly recommend it and incredibly nutritious too. So check it out. Links below. So then at breakfast, I like to do a bowl of banana and some blueberries, some coconut and cinnamon. And then if I am super hungry, I'll add in some jerky with it also. That's just sometimes I don't always do that. And then I will do mineral essence in some water. That's a trace mineral supplement. And I'll also pour myself a cup of tea. And lately, I've really, really, really been liking the orange rose hip black tea from Young Living. It is super delicious. Brand new. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend it. It is so yummy. So lunchtime, we like to do leftovers soup. So I will take meat and veggies from the night before, put it in a pan with bona fide provisions bone broth. I'll either do the beef or the chicken, and then I'll add in some veggies that I have in the refrigerator. So I actually just shredded up some carrots here and put that in. And then I also like to do some greens. So if I have any arugula in the refrigerator or spinach or something, um, I will put that in there as well and just let it simmer to kind to get everything to mix together and it's literally like the most delicious soup of all time I really like it so while I'm doing this my husband cuts up an apple and an orange and we split this plate he's been able to incorporate some raw things um, into his diet very well which is a very good thing too. That's kind of a, a newer addition. And then he also pours Ningxia red for us too. And we actually add it to our drink to have with our lunch. So it kind of encourages us to, to have some more water there. So there's our lunch, super basic and easy. I like to add a little arugula or spinach on the side too, um, just to kind of bump up our greens a little bit. There's our fruit that we like to split also. And then I like to have a couple of medjool dates at the end of lunch, just to kind of give a little sweetness literally tastes like caramel. And then my supplements, I do multigreens, zinc, D3, K2, aluminize, all of essentials, and a digestive enzyme. So then for dinner, we tend to do some kind of meat. So I actually did burgers this particular day. Those are just some organic beef patties. And then I wanted to do some veggies also. So I just took a little bit of sage and I put it in some water. And then I poured that over top of kale and uh, this is butternut squash spirals. 
And so I just poured it over there and then they're just gonna simmer for a little bit to break down. And then my husband makes plantains and he'll just mush them and kind of like turns them into fries a little bit. We just fry it in uh, you know, a little bit of olive oil. And there is dinner. I like to pair it with some cherries on the side and that's that. So I hope this was entertaining for you guys to see what I eat in a day. Like I said before, check out that juicer if you guys are in the market and I'll see y'all soon. Take care guys. Ciao.